All right, guys, here we are. Today we are hunting for trilobite fossils. We're going way up in the hills over there. Uh, this is just, uh, let's see, what is it? East of Amboy, east of Barstow. Pretty far east of Barstow, you know, probably an hour. So let's get up there. Okay, made it about as far as we wanted to go in the truck. Somebody's been here before. Well, a lot of people know about this place. But someone must have camped here. So, I'm parking right here at the base of this. There's a little road that goes up here, but I'm like, eh. I don't know what it gets like up there, and it's really tight. No place to turn around, so, you know. I need to walk anyways. I can use the exercise, so let's start going. All right, here we go. Hopefully you can see me. Now the first time I came out here, believe it or not, I was in uh, fourth or fifth grade. We had a field trip out here and uh, we found fossils. So that was fun. Uh, I'm gonna say about 10 years ago, I brought my wife and daughter out here and you know they found some my daughter found one and was like okay she had more fun throwing rocks up the side of the hill <laughs> but uh pretty neat so it's been about 10 years since I've been out here so hopefully we can find one now as far as fossils go these you know I'm not technically smart smart see I can't even talk good um these just look like an impression to me, you know, like the little trilob tri 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 bite fossil guy crawling around. Got stuck in the mud and then left an impression. Who knows? I don't know. It's neat. <laughs> it's another hunt. Let's go hunt for something. Pretty much made it to the top. If you guys come out here, I would suggest not coming up this road because it actually ends right there. I mean, you might be able to turn around there, but not worth it. Just hike up it. It's not that far. Where we want to go is right over there, I believe. Right in that grayish looking area. Like I said, it's been a long time. So I'm just going to get off the road and we're going to cross this wash right here and go down. I was thinking as I was walking up this, the whole fossil thing, I haven't done a lot of research. But uh, maybe that's the definition of a fossil. Something dying in mud, the mud turning into rock and leaving an impression. That kind of makes sense, so I'm good with that. So yeah, fossil. I GPS it a long time ago, but I have one of them old uh, Garmin GPS units, handheld. The, the blue one, you know, the kind of almost clear looking blue one. And uh, that thing's so old, it, it only works sometimes the, the screen glitches out a lot so need to get a new uh, GPS and put all my points back in there crap that's steep okay I'm fat and huffing and puffing so I'm gonna turn off the video and when we get up to there when we get up to right and there I'll turn it back on almost there and then somebody stacked that so people have definitely been here no secret but uh oh i tell you it is so peaceful up here do a quick pan around just silent so calming all right let's get up there um it's in that uh that brownish looking rock like right, right up in there, right up, eh, right there. Let's go find some. All right, made it up to a spot. That's the stuff we're looking for right there. So what you do is you pull that out, or you can look at all the stuff that's already eroded away and just, you know, turn them over and look for trilobite fossil nothing 
nothing. So I'm not going to bore you with me turning over rocks. I'll turn the camera on when I find something. But another little lesson, stupid me, you can't see the truck, but it's way down there at the end of that road. I left my rock hammer down there. <laughs> I get so excited to get out of the truck. Gotta go, go, go. Hike up here, out of breath. Oh crap, forgot my hammer. And I'm not hiking back down to get it. <laughs> so anyways, we'll, we'll do it old style. Caveman. So what I'm going to do is just sit down here. I'm sitting on the ground. I'm going to pull this stuff out. Like that. Then turn it over and see if there's anything there. A lot of these are so dirty you won't be able to tell I did bring some water but they usually pop right out when you it's usually the head and uh, man, I didn't bring a brush either I think I've only found like two full guys with the little legs but so yeah you just turn these over and look see if you see anything It's a pretty good head. You'll be able to you'll be able to see when I get one. I'm gonna do a lot of hopping around too, because I'm not just gonna stay in one place. Because you know maybe they weren't right here. So turn it back on when I find one. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just. I guess you really don't need a rock hammer. You just get in there and pull those out. Wait, what was that? Nope. Okay. Basically, you're just grabbing these out and hopefully the camera can see that. And tipping them over and looking. Looks like a deck of cards. I hate that I forgot my hammer, but oh well, make do. Obviously, the bigger the bigger pieces that can come out, the better your chance. More surface area to see something. Bombing. Not so quiet anymore. All right, done with that little hole. Let's go up. It's a lot more shale up here. Shell looking rock. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. So, I'm just gonna sit right in there and look around. I did find one interesting thing. I don't think it's a fossil. I think it's a crystal, but it looks like little tree leaves. Kind of neat. I don't think it's like a fern or nothing. I think it's actually a crystal that grows. Hopefully you can see me.
little one. Not very good, but it's it's a piece. I guess I should probably show this one. It ain't much, but it is one. <sighs> Oops, I just dropped it. Let's see. Can you see that? Sorry for the movement, but I got I can't see if you can see that. Man, with my lighting, there we go. I think you can make that out. Well, we got one. And it was just sitting up. I just, I didn't turn that one over, I saw it. Let's keep at it. I hope you guys can see that. I will Let's see if I touch the screen. Right there. And I set another one down. Uh, that was stupid. <laughs> that was real stupid. Oh man. I set one down to get the camera and she gone. That ain't it, but here's another one, and it's tiny. But it's just the head. It's just the head. Let's see if we can get this to focus on in there. <laughs> oh, well, I guess that makes up for the one I just lost. But the one I lost was a, I mean, it was a big dude, but it was just a tiny little piece, you know, the rest. Oh, here's another one. Cool. That wasn't it either, though. <laughs> you guys see that? Okay, I stood a rock up. I'm looking for that one. I haven't touched this. This is just how it's sitting. It's just a little guy, but... So put this rock standing up. Oh, there he is. Can you see that one right there? I don't know if you can. But yeah, sitting right there. That's so cool. Really want to find a whole one. And I want to find that one I set down, but I'm sure I already stepped on it. He was really thick, man. He was a big dude. It was just half his body, though. But yeah, I'll keep looking and keep showing you if I find any more. All right. <laughs> I found it. I found that piece I was going to show you the first time. I couldn't, I couldn't stop. I had to find it. Here it is, right there. That was a big sucker right there, man. Look at that dude. <laughs> I'm so happy I found that one. That was a big guy. Put it back here with the finds. I found two more since I was looking for that one. I'll show you. Uh, this one's really tiny. And this is the other side. Most of them are the impressions, you know, like you see his big, big head right there. So that's just fine so far. I mean, look at all that. I mean, you could spend days here. I think really the way to do it is get up there into that with your hammer, maybe bring some water up here in a brush you know, and uh, get bigger pieces out and clean the dirt off, because I think that's why all these here are, they're missed, because they were dirty, and, and they're a lot, they're real tiny. Very cool. Way out there is Bristol Dry Lake. 
Haven't found any meteorites on that one. Okay, I found two more. This one's kind of hard to make out, but a bunch of little legs right in there. And this one was really cool. This is a threefer. Found three. One little head there, one little head there, and one little head. Oop, come on, focus. Right there. So that's a cool piece. We keep looking. I think I'm just going to keep working my way up that, that way. All right, found a couple more. Let's see. Where's this guy at? Oh, right there is head. Right here at the bottom. I'll put it down here with the rest of our stuff. Um, this one's kind of cool. There's three on this little piece. Focus. There we go. That's a pretty cool one. And then another one. Just down there at the bottom by my thumb. Half a head. And this little guy right there. So I'm going to go up over the top of that. See what's that way. Let's go check it out. Almost to the top. Check that out. Got me a brush now. <laughs> I needed that. Well, made it to the top, but not really. I need to go up there. I want to see what's on the other side, but look how steep that is. Okay, going up there. So going up to the top, always be looking down. Look at that guy right there. So they were way up here too. That's cool. We'll keep him for sure. Oh, no way. Look at that. Laid it down right to another one. <laughs> okay, so now we know they're up there because I was hunting, whoa, almost fell. I was hunting way down there. I don't know if you can see my backpack right, right there. There's the truck. Way down there. That's as far as I can zoom. All right. Up and over we go. All right, made it to the top. Look at that. Beautiful. You know what? Like I say, this is cheap entertainment. Gas, pack a lunch. You guys get out here and do something like this because, you know, none of us are promised tomorrow. And if you want to go do something like this, make time to do it. We're all busy. Every single one of us busy. We can all make excuses why, oh, I can't this day, I can't this day. Just do it. You know, just to get to see something like this. And it's fun and peaceful out here. You know, and if you live in the forest, in the woods, same thing, man. I wish I did. Although I'd love it out here too, but I'd love to be in the woods. You know, I watch a lot of people. I'm going to flip this around. Yeah, <clears throat> like I was saying, get out and do it. Make some time. You know, if it's a day or two, make the time. You're not promised tomorrow. I mean, this stuff is just so much fun to come out and do. I watch people that, look at that, oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, like I, I got a real bad ankle, so I'm gonna get out here and keep doing this stuff because they say to have surgery, I don't, I, I don't want to. I'll just deal with the pain and do this as long as I can. But man, there's people that do all kinds of cool, fun things that don't cost a lot of money, you know? If you're around rivers and lakes, buy a big magnet, put it on a rope and throw it out in the river and see what you get. Uh, that's I, I want to do that I'm gonna I gotta but 
Unfortunately, as you can see, there's no water out here. Although this was all underwater, if we're finding trilobite fossils, which is pretty ironic, huh? But yeah, just stuff like that. You know, I watch these uh, guys and girls that are out in like London and they, I forget the name of it, like the time, time by a bridge somewhere. Anyways, low tide, they go out there. They find old coins, they find old pipes, old bottle lit, I just, and what, what's that cost you? You know, just a little bit of time. There's this one uh, mom and daughter that do it on, uh, on YouTube from England. They find sea glass and they find old bottles. You know, and that's just awesome because how long is your mom's gonna be here, right? So if she's willing to do that with you, do it. Get out there, guys. This is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go back down and eat some lunch, try to find a couple more and we'll wrap this up. Check that out. How cool is that? <laughs> Guess you don't need soil to grow, huh? Wow, that dude's just in the side of a rock. That's pretty darn unique there. Oh, let's see if I can get a different angle. Look at that. Growing pretty good. I mean, maybe there's a little dirt in that crack, but I mean, the ground's way down here. And probably not even that. It's like, look, solid whatever this rock is. That's cool. All right, got back down and found some more. There's this little guy right there. Sorry, it's hard to see on my camera whether you guys can see that or not. Look at this big one. That's a good head there. No body, unfortunately. But man, you can even make out the little, like little antenna looking thing that comes off of there. How cool is that? That's probably the best one. Uh, let's see. Found this guy. Half a head. Found that one. Yeah, focus. Found that one. And look how big that dude was. Man, too bad that wasn't a good piece. It's all raised too. Feel it. Pretty neat. All right, wrapping it up. Hike back down to the truck and uh, we'll do a show you all the pieces I found. Hey Hannah, you remember throwing rocks off the side of the hill right here <laughs> about 10 years ago? All right, see you guys when we get to the truck. All right, made it back to the truck. And got There's the haul for the day, 21 of them. All different little guys. That one's kind of cool. Three on one. I don't know. That, that dude right there. He's pretty big. But I still think that's probably the coolest one. And the cleanest. That's so neat. So yeah, again, get out there and do it. You know, we were way, way over there. We were on sitting on top of that little peak right there. So get out and do it, guys. You'll enjoy it. Whatever it is, make time to go do it. All right, just a quick little ramble on. Uh, get out there and get hunting. Whatever it is you'd like to do. 
but let's go to the thrift store and buy uh, you know some clothes that are worth a lot of money and sell them you can watch all kinds of different people um, I'll say it like and subscribe but more importantly leave a comment of what you guys like to do what it is that you find that's cheap entertainment and in hunting wise you know finding something let me know because if I don't know about it I want to try it <laughs> but yeah it's really neat there, there's so much stuff guys uh, and my wife last night said, what are you watching? And I, I stumbled across, across this guy that goes dumpster diving on a moped. <laughs> it's like, it was like, I'm watching this guy treasure hunt. He's finding all kinds of stuff, you know. Some stuff he sells, some stuff he recycles. And, and the cool thing, this guy, he rents a storage unit, puts the combination on his YouTube video. And the stuff that he gets, a lot of it, he puts in the storage unit. And he said, if you guys like it come get it it's yours it's like uh, how cool is that so just get out there get out there and start hunting thanks for watching and I'm just driving out of here and somebody dumped a bunch of stuff a while ago rusty gold hmm Canadian dry Old CB, realistic, probably Radio Shack, What's this big old thing, old stereo, what's that, that's huge, really heavy, Motorola car telephone, what the heck, well, look at that, that's an old reel-to-reel -reel type thing. This is what I mean by like watching people dumpster dive and collect old bottles. You know, what was that? AZ Plus? Huh. And it's not really old, but... Wow. Well, I like to uh, collect copper and aluminum. I'm going to do some melting videos. I made my, well, I watched YouTube and learned how to make my own melter and furnace, whatever you want to call it. Forge, not a forge. I forget. You know what I mean. Anyways, I've done it and it's fun, but this is just sitting here for free. Plus, it's cleaning up the desert. Some old spark plugs. Look at that old little bottle so cool all right i'm gonna stop filming and load up my truck all right score taking that wood you can always make some cool projects with that rusty wood some aluminum magnet take that off with the magnet motors got another motor got car copper in it aluminum i actually needed one of these for one of the jack stands at my house that whole thing is heavy as all get up and some wire, and I think that's maybe the phone that went with it. Anyways, score. A little bonus for getting out here and hunting, right? I mean, cleaned up the desert a little bit. I mean, took all this out of it, so that's something. Thanks for watching.